Hey there, I'm your host Lesoi, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a simple level up system in Unreal Engine 5. So this is the overview, so if I press 1 on my keyboard it'll add some XP and every time I want to level up I will need more XP to get to the next level. So let's begin. Create a new world, preferably the third person character world, and then go to your blueprint. Or if you already have a world and you have a character set up, go to your character. Inside here, we're going to create a variable called XP, another variable called XP needed, and a third variable called level. And I'm going to make each one of those a float. We can compile, save, and then we want to create a user interface, widget blueprint, and user widget. So we're going to create the level bar that we can see on our screen. I'm going to call it wb underscore level bar for widget blueprint. And if I go inside, we can create a canvas panel. Then we can get a progress bar, which we'll use for our level. And I'm going to center align this at the bottom. And I want the length to be 300 and the height is fine. So minus 151 seems to be out about center. And if I drag the percentage, I can see the color. I don't like this. So I already have a color here and I'm going to use this preset. OK. And for my style or background image, if I double click on this, I can use the same color and I can make it a little bit darker. So that looks really cool. OK, I'm happy with that. And from here, I'm going to add a text. And this will be the level text. And I will make this a variable. You can also add another text if you want to see the XP you already have on the bar and how much you need to progress. So I'm going to call this XP text. And I will also make it a variable. So I'm going to take that. I will size the content and I'm going to put 100 just for reference. And I will do my best to put that in the middle. So that's about fine. And then I'm going to get my text again from here. And this will be my level. So size to content, level, double colon, and just level 10 for reference. And try to put this in the middle as well. So that's about fine for me. And if I click on my progress bar, and I go to my percentage, we can bind, create new binding. So over here, we want to add a variable called level because we'll be setting our level in the player character shortly. So from here, we cast to our character. For me, that's third person character. And object will be get player character. Then from here, we get our XP and we get our XP needed. And I'm going to divide these guys by this. And from here, we can put the output into the return node. So that's done for the progress bar. If we go back to the designer, we can do our text here. Now, you don't need to do this if you don't want to see this displayed, how much XP you need for the next bar. You only have to do this to see the level, but I'm going to show you anyway how to do this. So on our text, we're going to create a binding. And from here, again, cast to player character or cast to third person. Cast to third person character. Get player character. And then we will get XP and we'll get XP needed. So we're gonna clamp it at zero and clamp it at max. Clamp float. From here, we're gonna text to float. And from here, I'm gonna format text. 
so break the the node and inside here we just want to do curly bracket x curly bracket so this will display our xp and plug this into x like so and the return value can go there so that's this done back to the designer now for our level if i click this and text again bind create new binding and over here i'm gonna do cast to third person character again get player character and we can just get level so text to float and format text so the same principle applies but this time we want to see level all the time on the screen double colon and curly bracket x curly bracket so now we will see the level displayed and plug this into the return value so this is done and just double uh, double check that everything is center aligned so it doesn't it's not off on your screen and also this center align that so compile and save and now if we go to our character and from the event uh, event begin play i'm gonna create a sequence so this goes to the code we already have and then this will go to our new code so create widget and i'm gonna select my level bar from here i'm gonna promote this to a variable called level reference and then i'm going to set my level and my level is going to be my current level and then from here we're gonna add to viewport so if we compile and save we should see our level being displayed on our screen at the moment it'll have no functionality but it's displayed on our, on our screen so uh, something doesn't look right if i go back into here uh yes i think we it's because we haven't set up any values at the moment uh da -da -da. Oh, yeah i messed up here so uh, level again double colon curly bracket x curly bracket so you want to plug this value into the x again like so compile and save and now if we go back we can see everything looks fine now we just need to add the xp the functionality so if i go back to my third person character inside of which i can create a new function called add xp and inside here i'm going to do an input and i want this input to be called xp of type float then i will get my xp i'm going to add so we add the xp we already have we add uh, whatever xp we got and we will set this to be our current xp so set and then from here we want to check if the value is greater or equal than xp needed and if it is true we want to increase our level so we're going to get the increment node so double plus increment float and get your level and put that into here from here then we will check if the xp we have gotten is more than the xp required so we will carry this over get xp and xp needed so this subtracted this and we will set that to be our xp into here like so and drag this back here so it looks nice and then you don't have to do this but it's good so if we get our xp needed and we multiply it so we can make it harder to level up next time so for example i can do 1.5 it'll be one one and a half times harder to level up for the player 
and we can set the XP needed like so. And then all you have to do is get a return node and drag the level into here and you're done. So one last thing in the player character in the event graph, we just need to add a button to test this. So I will get keyboard debug key one and once pressed add XP. So we're just calling our function we've created and the XP that we want to add will be 20, for example, and the XP we need. So for our first level, just set the value, whatever you want. I'm going to set 50. So to level up first, we need to get 50 XP and this will give us 20. So for example, if you have an enemy, all you need to do is if you had a, for example, if your enemy died, you'd want to cast to your player and then you'd just simply add, you'd call the function from your player, add XP and how much XP you want to add, you just put into here. I don't have an enemy in the world, so I'm just going to test this with this key. So if we hit play and I press one, we can see that our player is leveling up. And every time I level up, I need more XP. So this will be it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.